Opposition leader Peter Dutton will seek a mandate to overturn Australia's ban on nuclear power and build seven reactors across the country, the first to be operational by 2035 to 2037, sometime in there. Joining us live now, David Sweeney. He's a nuclear policy analyst at the Australian Conservation Foundation who is against Peter Dutton's proposal, and Dr John Harries, a physicist at the Australian Nuclear Association who is for the plan. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for your time. Let's start with you, John. Why do you think this is good for the country? Look, look nuclear power is used around the world and is very successful and low carbon, reliable. It, it provides value to the, to the economic, to the electricity system. It really is a great opportunity for Australia to, to include nuclear as well as renewables and hydro in the in our energy mix, I think it's it's a big it's a benefit to Australia to have nuclear as a real option and being considered for our energy system. David, over to you. Why do you think that it isn't good for the country? Morning, Pete. Well, the simple answer is it's simply the single most expensive and slowest form of new electricity generation of all the options facing Australia. We have a real choice here. We are exiting coal, which has been the basis of our energy system for a long time. We're exiting that in the next decade. We need to replace it. And of all the options, nuclear is the slowest and the most expensive, and it has a whole range of ancillary risks about security, safety, waste management, a lot of complexities. Um, so we see it as more a uh, delay and a distraction from effective climate action than a way to guarantee the lights are kept on and the carbon's kept down. OK. Um... John, just, just on that question then, um, speed and costs, I mean, that's a fair enough criticism of it. How do you counter it? Look, look the, uh, uh, the climate issue is going to go on forever. I mean, I think, you know, you're talking about 10 years, and I think it's similar for offshore wind and other, you know, large systems. Cost, the, the, the sort of 58 reactors presently under construction around the world, large reactors, in, in, in many countries, been you know numerous reactors in the last five years added to the to the world energy system. The rest, the rest of the world is deciding that the value of nuclear adding to the systems gives us extra reliability and and carbon emissions. So I think uh, there's a real good argument to include nuclear in Australia. Okay. Well, well, on that point, David, 19 of the top 20 advanced economies in the world have nuclear energy. When we have the uranium here. Aren't we doing ourselves a disservice by not having the industry? No, not at all. I think, you know, if you if you look at nuclear energy, it's its role in the global energy um, circuit or, or pie has shrunk dramatically, but it's, it, it used to be, it, it's now less than 10% of global electricity. That's significant, but renewables are the fastest growing, massively more so. Renewables in Australia are not, contested or in the same way they're not a greenfield's new star we already have a, a third of the nation's electricity today a third of the people watching this show will be watching it powered by renewable power in some states that's up to 75 percent so renewables unlike nuclear aren't an illusion aren't a promise they're a practical reality so just we on have that it, an, it, an urgent reality Sorry, Dave. Uh, just just on that point, you know, uh, just reading about solar power generation falling to 13% yesterday. I mean, it's the day before winter solstice. That gives you an idea of the problems with renewables, right? Now, renewables are increasingly firmed and reliable. And we've seen that there are multiple ways and multiple pathways to assure renewable reliability, and this is a proven and mature technology. And that's unlike what we heard yesterday from opposition leader Peter Dutton, who announced not really a plan, but more a statement or an aspirational statement. There were no details there, Peter, of cost, no details of what would happen okay. to waste, no details of what sort of technology they would apply, no details of the structure of ownership or operation, just broad assertions. There's no details of how they intend to consult or whether they've consulted with communities that they've named. And there was a coercive under threat of we will use compulsory acquisition power should people not agree. Yeah. There's a lot of tensions yeah. facing this plan and there's a lot of problems that we believe we need urgent action, not further distraction. Given your research in, in the matter, Dave, just a quick one here, we've got to wrap it up soon. You got an idea of what you know seven reactors would cost? I know the CSIRO has put one at about $8 billion. 
guess if we multiply that by seven, you get to 50, 60 billion. Is that about right? No, I think it's it's a significant underestimate, actually. We, we basically have a rule of thumb and the international industry experiences basically uh, 20 billion and, and 20 years. Um, it's a considerable outlay and it's very slow. And why would you choose in a country blessed with better resources? 20 billion, is that, is that per reactor, Dave? 20, 20 billion per reactor, 20 years per construction. Okay. And um, and that's why would you choose what the CSIRO has identified and all the independent researchers identified is the cheap, is the dearest and slowest option okay. when we have better ones. John, let's um, let's close with you. You know, given that we can't even get Snowy Hydro on time or on budget, have we got Buckley's chance of of doing this and getting it done? Look, look we, we we can use an established technology. We can use one that's been built overseas. Um, I think the, the the estimate it is it is quite feasible for Australia to do it. We're going to spend a lot of money on it, energy transition and nuclear fits the bill. Okay. John and David, really appreciate your time this morning. It's uh, a bit there for people to think about. Thank you. We'll talk to you again soon.